All right, so we got how did each faction react to the Grey Knights? Let's get to the video. Let's go, man. Did I, guys and gal, the Grey Knights are a bunch of pretty sneaky boys, hidden by Malkador during the Horus Heresy and only deployed against the galaxy's greatest demonic threats. They don't walk around too often, and when they do, the enemies are usually killed to a man, whilst their allies are either mind wiped or killed as well. Wowzers. Needless to say, the Inquisition isn't too keen on me making this video, or the fact that other factions survive long enough to have a genuine reaction to the Grey Knights. But with so many galactic threats and so many Grey Knights being sent out to deal with them, they have eventually crossed paths with some of the other factions who have their own opinions on these new overpowered demon slayers. I, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Um, like my squad, the Salamanders, we don't like them. Um, as a matter of fact, that's our job. You know, we come through and we clean up. We come through and we help through. Um, you know, we're the superheroes of everybody because, you know, everybody else is trash. Um, and, to you know, just to be real with you, we don't need the Great Knights. As a matter of fact, if we see the Great Knights, it's on site. Um, so let this be a warning to the Great Knights. You know, if you're a part of the Great Knights, whatever, um, let this be, a, bro, go tell your squad, go tell your squad that haven't showered since the 1800s. Go tell them that, um, you, that we don't need y'all help. And if we do see our help, it's going to be another uh, Warhammer 40k. I promise. It's going to be another war, okay? Some of those reactions... Let that be no. Go tell them that. ...and definitely worth a look. Before we get started, hygiene is king. If you're True. a sweaty, oily neckbeard, you really aren't going to get very far in life. Oh, wow. Fortunately, I've once again partnered up with Geology to bring you a one-stop Okay, he's doing an ad read. But like needs. I said before, Although listen, Geology you're a part of, like, you know, any of the other, like, men, uh, you know, factions or whatever, natural um, you know, washes, you come across the Grey Knights, whatever, you can work with them. Don't worry, though. You can... You can collaborate or whatever, or if you know if your team is going out bad like so usual, you know they can come through and help through and scoop through and, 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 and help them out. But you know, whenever it comes to my team, you can't help us out. As a matter of fact, you know we're just too undefeated. So let this be known. Back to the ad read. Geology answers that for us by asking us to fill out a quick survey and bam, what this called? Geologic instructions are sent to your door. Personally, geology has been amazing. Oh, geology. I really used to struggle with dark circles under the eyes and oily skin, but I don't get oily skin at all anymore and my dark circles have been reduced the best part is that by using my linking code magical 70 below or by scanning this qr code on screen you'll get a massive 70 okay. off your first skincare package 70 percent off oh that's a good deal i'm gonna be honest with you that's choice, a nice deal whether that be the body wash deodorant or whatever I'd personally recommend the deodorant, it slaps. Cheers to Geology for sponsoring this video. Today we'll go over each faction's reaction to the Grey Knights, or at least the factions that live long enough to actually react. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it! Here you go, let's go. The Grey Knights are so secretive that most of the Imperial sub-factions, including most Space Marine chapters, don't even know about them. However, the ones that do often have some pretty interesting thoughts and reactions. The Custodian Guard are one of the few factions that have known of the Grey Knights since their inception, as they are allowed to know everything about the Imperium. Their reaction to them is very complicated. On one hand, Grey Knights are Space Marines, and Space Marines are gay, because many of them betrayed the Emperor. However, oh, they also mm. do respect the fact that the Grey Knights are born of the Emperor's gene seed, and do somewhat see them as little stepbrothers in a way. There is also an unspoken rivalry between the two factions due to them both having a lot of similarities and both being direct sons of the Emperor. The Custodes see themselves as superior, mostly due to the fact that the Grey Knights are weapons, yet Custodes are more than that. However, the Custodes are also a bit butthurt about the fact that in some ways, the Grey Knights are superior to them, as if they weren't, then they never would have been created in the first place. Overall, mm, it's a rivalry okay. underscored with mutual professional respect. After all, the Grey Knights are the only Space Marines that the Custodes aren't 100% better at in every way. Space Marine reactions on the Grey Knights really depends on the context of meeting the Grey Knights. For example, the Space Wolves initial reaction was fuck yeah these dudes slap demons harder than we clap dogs however when the grey knights then insisted on genociding the population of the planet that they had just saved in order to prevent the spread of theoretical chaos corruption the wolves reaction turned sour oh wait the um wait the oh my god what are they called oh my god what are they called are they called like the space wolves or something like that i think the space wolves the space wolves uh i think the space wolves are like the people that like come through and like they they kind of have like the do they have like the same job where they like they come through and they, they and they like clean up everything, whatever? They're like the personal um no 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 they're not no the wolves whatever. Basically, if, I think if somebody gets out of line or whatever, the emperor's like oh yeah oh yeah see he messing up go discipline him now and the wolves will go through and like you know mess up the like mess up the people who are like you know acting up or whatever. I think that's what uh I think that's the uh like the wolves job, I think so. But th listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, they can never do that with the salamanders, never. 
resulted in the months of shame, Never. a Never. direct and violent conflict Duh. between the Grey Knights and the Space Wolves, which resulted in the deaths of dozens of Grey Knights and forever souring the relationship between the Inquisition and the Space Wolves. This conflict also changed a fair bit about Grey Knight doctrine and dealing with other Space Marine chapters. They would no longer be super dicks about everything, especially now that the Great Rift is opened and the Grey Knights are needed now more than ever. They can't just justify killing worlds or slaughtering loyal army regiments, so for the most part, they have come out of the shadows and into the light. However, that didn't save some poor sisters of battle who ended up having a pretty bad first meeting with the Grey Knights. In a now most likely retcon piece of lore, Cornite demons were overwhelming a planet, with only a few highly devoted sisters of battle remaining uncorrupted and in the fight. When the Grey Knights arrived, they decided to kill the sisters and bathe in their blood to protect themselves from Cornite corruption. What the? What? Excuse them, what? They're bathing in what? Kool Aid, right? He didn't. He didn't just say what I think he just said. They're, huh? They're bathing in whom? Ketchup, right? Like that red stuff that's on his body. What? That, that's that's Kool Aid, right? No shot. That's what I think it is. They're bathing in whom? Oh yeah, that's crazy. No, that's nasty one. Even though Grey Knights are already significantly more incorruptible than sisters, and bathing in blood to try resist the Chaos God of Blood is fucking retarded. What the So I imagine the sisters' reaction would have been awe and wet panties turned to brief horror just before they were butchered. But yeah, wet come for a reason. Some lore is just too stupid, even by GW standards. We do also get to see some Ultramarines interact with the Grey Knights as well. Their first reaction was surprise. See, many of the first founding chapters have heard legends of the Grey Knights, and for they're a bunch of loyalist ritualistic sorcerers. So they were surprised how upfront and direct the Grey Knights were. They used their psychic powers like a hammer, not like a carving knife. To test their loyalty, a Grey Knight beats the shit out of two Ultramarines while mocking them. Because the Ultramarines lost, the Grey Knights considered them loyal. If the Ultramarines had won, it would prove their guilt and then they would get gunned down. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Bro, me and the boys, bro. Me, me and my boys, bro. Bro, we we gotta fight. We gotta fight, bro. There's no way I, I'm just get beat up willingly while you mock me, and I'm just down for defeat. And then you like, oh well, you know he passed the test. You're good, bro. No, no, bro. I gotta get a few haymakers, a few Mayweather uppercuts, you know, a few Mike Tyson, you know, left and rights and stuff like that. I gotta get like a little Logan Paul, a little uppercut. I I gotta get something in, you know. Um, I can't just go down defeated like that. As a matter, of, I'm listen. It, may, it maybe it's just. Maybe it's ego, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll blame the ego. I won't blame myself. I'll just blame the ego. You know, maybe it's just ego, but I can never go down that way, respectfully. The logic behind that is a bit questionable. That's and nasty. Being a sore loser, but when you are the one with the gun, you can make your own rules. How about some of the other races? What do the Elder think of the boys in grey? Well, the Grey Knights are never sent to fight the Elder, nor do they often cross paths. However, the one time they did, it was actually quite a positive affair. See, there was a craft world called Malantai that was overrun with Tyranids, and then a bunch of Slaneshi demons got on board and began eating the Spirit Stones. The Grey Knights didn't give a fuck about the Nids, but the Slaneshi sluts were a no-no. So a strike force led by the legendary Anvil Thorn, a perpetual Grey Knight, arrived and engaged the demons. Despite Nkari leading them, the demons were banished and Anvil was killed, which you know isn't a big deal as perpetuals can walk off death like a hangover. The Grey Knights discovered thousands of undevoured spirit stones and collected them. See, the Grey Knights have vast repositories of knowledge and also aren't a bunch of xenophobic fuckheads like the Black Templars are. So they knew the Elder deeply valued the spirit stones as they literally contained the conscious souls of their kins. Hence the Grey Knights signaled to a nearby crafter to come pick the stones up. Bro, they like, bro, these Grey Knights, bro, they're really cracked, like... Listen, I understand, like, this sons of the Emperor, like, or whatever. I understand that, bro. But, like, bro, they... Like, bro, they're cracked for real. Like, obviously, like, you know, they're not better than the Salamanders. But, like, man, like, they're... This is a strong group. But, again... They're not better than my squad. They did this as A, it was the right thing to do, and B, it stopped Slaanesh from sending more scavengers to eat the stones, thus empowering chaos. At first, the Eldar were pissed that a bunch of space marines were hanging out on one of their dead craft worlds. But when the Grey Knights knelt, apologized for the intrusion, and gave them back the spirit stones, the Eldar were taken aback and shocked. In turn, they became polite and praised the Grey Knights, promising to honor their sacrifice and remember their help for all time. They even offered oh. a favor, which the Grey Knights graciously refused. The two factions then peacefully departed after the Elder personally escorted the Grey Knights out of the system. Oh, wow. For the Grey Knights, it was the first time meeting the Elder, as there was really no need prior. 
since they hunt demons and the Elder avoid demons. Whilst for the Elder, they were so used to fighting Space Marines that extremely polite and friendly ones that did them a huge solid was very unexpected. Wow, so like, the, so, so the Grey Knights, bro. Wow, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. That kind of, that kind of surprised me a little bit. So basically, like, they take this whole demon fighting thing into like, a, they take that, they, they take that really serious. So they're not even, wow. So like, they're not even like looking for like other like, like other space marines or, or, or nothing like that. They're like, you know what, bro? We just here to fight demons. We're here to get our check and we're here to bounce. Um, wait, th this is what they stole from me. Okay, well here you go. We we you know we beat them. We took our we took what we wanted. You know we got our blood or whatever. Here you go. They took they took they took these uh these little seventy two uh you know carrot diamonds from you. Whatever. Here you go, bro. Oh, those for me. Oh, appreciate that, bro. I didn't know you was this nice. Yeah, well, of course, bro. You know, we just we just came to kill, kill, kill. That's all. You know, we just came through to just get what we wanted. Here's your diamonds, bro. I did not know that the, that, that the Great Knights was actually this nice. Okay. But again, you know, the Salamanders are way nicer. Overall, a cool interaction. What about the Orcs? Well, Orcs aren't demons, and the Imperium has a huge variety of other options to use against the Greenskin Menace. However, the two factions have crossed paths before. First was when some orcs got possessed by Nogalite demons and had to be put down by the Grey Knights. Oh. But since they were possessed, you can't really determine their genuine reaction. On other rare occasions, Grey Knights will sometimes cut through orcs to reach their intended target. Orcs aren't great at distinguishing between Space Marine chapters. They group all Space Marines together with subtle differences here and there. As such, their reaction wouldn't be, OMG, silver extra psychic Space Marines with the Emperor's Gene Seed. Holy moly. It would have been more like, Oi, look at that fucking sparkly git. Let's crump him, boys. Before they then got atomized by warp lightning or cut in half with a force glaive. Oh! Now, probably the most important reaction. How did Chaos react to the Grey Knights? After oh. all, the Grey Knights were made as the ultimate counter to Chaos, and they are the reason why Demon Primarchs haven't been able to stomp a Primarchless Imperium. Well, fortunately for us, one of the Grey Knights' first assignments was to assassinate Iskander Kaon, a legendary Black Legion sorcerer, who was also quite observant and had a pretty in-depth reaction to them. Kaon's first reaction was insulted. The Grey Knights had only sent five warriors to kill him. He expected more than that. Your bro was appalled. He said, bro, this is the best you got? You sent three million to try to get rid of me? Man, I need the entire squad. I need the entire, bro, man, I, I, bro, I'm worthy of it, bro. I need a warrior's death. What, bro, five guys? Man, this ain't the restaurant. Man, send me your best. Send me your best. I noted that individually, the Grey Knights weren't very powerful psychers. However, they were able to combine their psychic powers and auras to form a powerful psychic presence. He also found it interesting that their presence physically hurt and diminished his demon pet, as if they had some kind of anti-chaos psychic shield, which, you know, they did. Kaon fought them and killed four out of the five, leaving the leader to die of his wounds. His overall impression was that they were arrogant, untested, and overconfident. After all, he was able to kill the first two easily because they broke rank and tried to glory kill him. However, he was also very impressed with them and their innate abilities and single-minded focus. Five normal space marines would have been nothing against Kaon, but these warriors had broken his jaw, his ribs, his arm, and left him scarred and drained. He was amazed that the leader still lived without his legs and punctured lungs. He was even more amazed when he found out that the leader had actually survived, been rescued, and would then plague him for five centuries. The knowledge of their existence was surprising and quite disturbing for Kaon. He was a god-tier psyker, one of the most powerful in the setting, and he only really survived because the Grey Knights underestimated him. They had lured wow. him into a solid trap, and if they brought another three battle brothers or just acted a bit more cohesive, Kaon probably would be dead. The traitor True. Primarchs all had a similar reaction. First amusement that this new breed of space marine thought they could take on a demon Primarch, then rage and embarrassment when it turned out that yes, they could take on a demon Primarch. Mortarian, Angron, and Magnus have all been banished by Grey Knights at some point. Khan the Betrayer has also killed his share of Grey Knights. He actually counters them pretty hard, his Cornite blessings making him mostly immune to their psychic powers, while the fact that he isn't a demon also prevents them from using their anti-demon shit on him. Hence he is able to charge in and fight them man to man, a situation that Khan never really loses. Khan just saw them as another obstacle. He isn't quite observant or reflective as Kaon, so his reaction is pretty whatever. Funnily enough, the Grey Knights have encountered the Necrons at least once. When they were chasing some demons to a planet, that planet turned out to be a Necron tomb world. 
the Necrons awoke and a three-way battle between the Grey Boys, the Demons and the Necrons begun. As the Demon Lord was about to kill the Necron Lord, the Grey Knight Lord had killed the Demon Lord. The rest of the Demons were then banished, leaving only the Necrons and the Grey Knights. As the Grey Knights prepared to continue the battle, the Necron Lord lowered his weapon and his warriors ceased firing on the Grey Knights. In return, the Grey Knights honoured the parlay and left the world. No point losing warriors against the Xeno Raid. You know what? I, there's, hey, there's one thing that I'm learning about these Grey Knights, man. They sound pretty solid. It, 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 they just sound like they just want to... Listen, they sound like they just want to get their check and just kill these demons or whatever, and that's it. It, it sounds like they don't even just... They, they, they don't even want to, like, get into, like, extra wars or, like... Like, they don't want to, you know, get into a battle that they just don't want to get into. Like, they don't want to fight other... Like, you know, um, like they don't want to fight other battles that they simply don't have to do it. Like, they're just here specifically for a job. They're here, you know, just to kill these demons. And that's it. And I can't lie to you. I kind of respect that. I can't lie to you. I, I, I definitely respect that. Hmm. They might, they might move up in my ranking. I can't, you know, as a matter of fact, they might be in my top three. The Necrons are known to have codes of honor and culture, so it's easy to see their reaction being, Who the fuck woke me up? Holy shit, a demon. Oh sweet, the demon is dead. Let's let the weird silver space marines who killed the demon leave. Necrons see psychers and other races as beneath them, so whilst they would have catalogued and studied the demon hunters, they wouldn't have cared that much about them. The Tyranids and Grey Knights have fought before, a three-way battle between Chaos, Tyranids and the Grey Knights, kinda like the example above. However, this time the Tyranids fucked everyone up and won. As we don't see Tyranid perspectives often, we don't know what their reaction was. However, the Grey Knight biomass would have been pretty tasty. After all, it had the gene seed from the Emperor himself. The Tau and the Grey Knights are yet to meet, but I'm sure it's gonna rock the blue bovine boys' worlds. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then pick up some- You did not have to put that in there. <laughs> Yo, this man major kill, bro. You are unhinged, bro. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? Hey, the Grey Knights, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. They in my top three, man. Why not? You know, cause, hey, because they're the type to stand on business, you know? Um, they're definitely in my top three. Um, but like I said before, there's absolutely nobody, and I mean nobody. I don't care if your name was uh 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 uh, uh, uh Bones. I don't care if your name was Superman. There's no other faction, there's no other group. Better than the Salamanders, okay? Once y'all get that through your head, then y'all understand what I'm talking about. But until then, you and your little faction can keep losing. My faction will keep winning, okay? Comment down below. What do you guys think about this video? See you guys everything that's coming out. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Peace out, everybody.